Hi, welcome to Hoopty Doo. Today we're going to learn the one hoop isolation. And this tutorial was requested by Kathleen. Um, she was trying to do the twin isolation and um, you need to know the one hoop isolation before you can do that one. So for all those of you who want to do the twin isolation, uh, this is the video to watch first. Um, for all those of you with osteoporosis, uh, this is an excellent uh, workout for your arms and your shoulders for strengthening them because you'll really feel it in your shoulders and upper arms and your wrists also controlling the hoop. Um, basically there's just two things to uh, remember about this move. One of them is you want the hoop to stay in one place. It'll look like it's staying in that one spot. You don't want it moving around a lot or starting to spin. Okay, an uh, isolation is basically just your hand is on the hoop and you're going to, your thumb is pointed down. I do with my right hand, it was easiest for me to start to learn, and I go in the clockwise direction as I'm facing it. So basically, you're just taking your hand on the hoop and you're leaving your hand in the same spot. You're not moving your hand and the hoop is, is going around and when you get up to the top then you, you're going to find that you're going to have to twist your arm. Something else has got to happen for you to keep doing that or else your arm is going to break. Something's got to give, okay? So what you want to do is when you get to that place where you feel you can't turn it anymore then you're going to let the hoop roll across the back of your hand and then back to the palm of your hand and you're going to grab it again and keep going, keep moving moving your hand up, let it roll across the top and come back down and you're going to keep your hand going like that it's going to roll across the top, it's really hard to do in slow motion and you're going to keep coming down back up when you get to the top let it roll across your hand, come back down, trying to keep it as you trying to keep it in one spot rather than having it move around. Okay. And when you when you feel comfortable about it rolling across your hand, the back of your hand and then back to the palm, then you can try to practice, keep practicing that move and until you speed up the roll until the roll just starts you can't even see the roll because you're going faster so it's all in the speed of it and it's really your arm if you notice the arm is really really going up and back down and around so your arm is tracing the circle that you want the hoop to go in and that's what keeps the hoop in one spot because if you just do it down here then the hoop keeps falling down if you just don't don't move your arm and just keep your arm at your waist then the hoop is going to be down here okay so you want your arm to make the big motions of the circle of the hoop because that's like you're drawing the circle in the air with your arm okay and um, if you're left-handed, same thing with your left hand, uh, just the opposite. Okay, so we're going this way with right hand. You just take your left hand to just the opposite and go the other way, counterclockwise as I'm looking at it. If you want to go the other direction, if that's more comfortable for you starting, then you take your left hand, if you're left-handed, and just do the same thing, tracing that with big arm motions. Okay, same thing with the right hand and clockwise as I'm looking at it, or counterclockwise as I'm looking at it. Okay, same thing. So you want to try whatever is more comfortable for you. You want to try that direction and that hand to start with, and whichever one's comfortable with, then you get the feel of it with your dominant hand then you can move on to the other hands and the other directions. Once you get that 
The, the hardest part about it is getting the hoop to roll across the back of your hand and then back to the palm. Okay, so, and, and you're basically grabbing it with your whole hand. Now, there's another thing, if you're watching this as a precursor to the twin isolation tutorial, then um, you'll want to also practice after you get it with your whole hand grabbing the hoop, after you are good and comfortable with the one hoop isolation doing that, then you're going to want to to try it, and I show this in the twin isolation video also, you're going to want to try doing the one hoop isolation without your thumb, with your thumb out away from the hoop. Okay, so just with four fingers. And this is going to be really awkward if you're used to using your whole hand, but you're going to need that thumb for the rider hoop on the twin isolation. So you want to really try doing the one hoop isolation with, with four fingers and your thumb sticking out away from the hoop. Okay, and that will set you up for the twin isolation. If you don't want to do the twin isolation, then just go ahead and, and grab it with your hand is fine. Okay? And those of you with osteoporosis, you know, take it, take it easy. If you feel that you have pain in your shoulders or your wrists, you need to stop and um, take a few days off maybe, and then maybe come back to it. Uh, but just go at your own pace. Be um, patient with yourself because sometimes this takes a while to learn, um, to learn the smoothness of your hand, your hand turning over and the hoop rolling across it. Okay? And it takes really strong, really strong arms and hands. Okay? And it builds up your strength. So I hope this helps. And if you have any questions or um, you want me to troubleshoot with you, uh, send me a video or comments and I will help you. So happy hooping! If you're having trouble with a hoop rolling across your hand, then there's a little exercise you can try. And, and you'll start with the hoop holding it with your palm up, and then you're going to let the hoop roll across the back, catch it with your palm of your hand, and then you're going to go back the other direction, back and forth. And just let the hoop roll across your hand and then catch it. And when it's rolling across your hand, it's, it's almost like um, you don't really have it. It's just across the back of your hand. And you're giving it those three seconds or however many long it is to go across the back of your hand. And then you're going to catch it when it comes. Roll, catch, roll, catch. Roll across the back and catch it in both directions. And that, that helps you get the speed up to get faster, become faster with the hoop and the isolation. And when you, when you learn that, then it, it helps you with the one hoop isolation.